Hey people. So this is my continuation with my medical issue videos. If you've already watched my dystonia video, then you're well aware of what's going on there. Uh, that is a chronic, incurable disease. Uh, it causes a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of sleepless nights. And that's, like I said, a neuro neurological order that comes from the, basically, the brain. Now, I also have um, degenerative disc disease. Basically, that's when the cushions, disc between your vertebrae and your back, start to deteriorate. This is a progressive disease. It only gets worse and worse with time and age. Now, what I'm showing here, and excuse the shakiness, I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm using my laptop to show the MRI results uh, for my uh, cervical region, which is your neck region. And I don't know how well this is going to come out. Yeah, there we go, that's a little better. Uh, this was from 2019 February 17th 2019 MRI and as you can see here uh, this this is my backbone okay this is my backbone going all the way down here uh, that doesn't look too good huh that doesn't look too good okay now what we have right here that is known as a bulging disc that is when there's too much pressure between two vertebrae that causes that cushion or disc to expand outwards. Too much pressure and you can herniate that disc and these discs are full of, of a fluid material and basically it's like a balloon when you pop it, it it's, it's done. Okay here this is just you know massive yuck going on and you can see I have a curvature here and as I go further down into my thoracic region which is your mid back well you can see what's going on there it's just none too good and and this this curvature that's a result from my on the work injury which has caused my shoulder or yeah my shoulders to be uneven this is the end of one collarbone Okay, here's the other end. You see how much higher one is than the other? It's an unnatural state. I mean, I am all screwed up through here. This would take surgery to correct, and with having degenerative, degenerative disc disease, um, it would be surgery after surgery after surgery. Now, I have another viewpoint here of my neck, and um, we need to... Bring this over, excuse the shakiness. I'm using both my phone and my laptop. Um, now, oh, come on, don't do that. Okay, now then, you can see here that is damaged area there. Look at all this. This is all damaged. Okay. This is all disc deterioration right through here. And, you know, this is all normal here. Now, I want to show you this right here. This is your spinal cord. This runs right up between your vertebrae. It's full of fluid, your spinal fluid. Um, right there, that is spinal stenosis, all through here, my sp spinal cord is damaged. I was told by one physician two years ago, possibly over two years ago, that if I didn't have surgery, which would <laughs> be rods and screws and, and, and donor, uh, bone material, um, uh, that I would eventually 
be paralyzed and he gave me basically one to three years before this would happen well we're, we're at over two years now since he told me this and here you can see upper bray that's that's I mean all of this is just damaged material and right there um, well someplace in here I have what's known as myelopathy. Myelopathy is when you have one or more vertebrae that is actually going in the opposite direction of the normal curvature in your neck. That's something else that would have to be basically reset through surgery. Not fun. Now, so that, that, that's what else is going on besides just the dystonia. And plus, since my, my injury to my left shoulder, um, all the bones in my left shoulder are not where they're supposed to be. I can only raise my left arm shoulder height. Uh, whether that's in front of me or to my side, shoulder height, no more. I also have a lower back or lumbar issues. Um, back in 2015, I was diagnosed with bloated disc, uh, osteoarthritis. I have osteoarthritis throughout my whole body. My, all of my whole skeletal structure is deteriorating. And, and they, they say, oh, well, that's due to age. Well, I'm only 53 years old. This is due to overwork. Uh, basically, I just overused my body far, far too much, and and this this area is the common area. If you have any kind of cervical uh, injuries that need surgery, this is the area. Okay, right there. I believe. Okay, that's that's. The vertebrae that is out of whack right there. Can you see how it? I mean, everything, everything is so screwed up in my neck, my lower back. I do have uh, MRI imaging of that, but I am not a radiologist, so I cannot make heads or tails of the imaging that they provided on the disc for that. And like I said, that was back in 2015, and. So any kind of excessive bending, twisting, or walking, it's so cumbersome. It, it's it, at nighttime, it's unbearable. I get nerve pain, that's just debilitating. It, it will not let me sleep. My legs will start jumping. I get full body twitches going on all over the place, and whether that's because of the dystonia or what, I'm not sure. But regardless of all the documentation and all the evidence that I have provided uh, for disability and for workers compensation I just keep getting denied over and over and over I will do another video talking about that and this is where the conspiracies come in so you know look at that I mean you just and they say that I am able to work. I can't even carry a gallon of milk for any period of distance. Yeah, I am being forced because of uh, lack of money. Uh, my vehicle has, has basically done the same thing as my body. It's rotted right out. It's, it's too old. I have too many issues with my vehicle. Uh, it's it's headed for the scrapyard. I haven't been able to drive it since this last winter. Basically, it was February, or January or February, and and this is not fun. I will also be doing another video about the medications that I was on, and we'll get into into that as well. So, there you have it, folks. Um, I wish I could have done a better video, provided more. Uh, information beyond beyond this 
there are videos out there uh, on YouTube that you can look into to find out more, to find out more about the surgeries. Uh, once again, uh, osteoarthritis, degenerative disc disease, uh, disc protrusions, bulging, uh, spinal stenosis, which is the narrowing, narrowing of the of the spinal cord, and I, I, I do have that in both my neck and my lumbar region, uh, lower back, and it basically it's your spinal cord being pinched right up, and it looks like an hourglass when it happens. Um, myelopathy, once again, that is where you have a vertebrae that is not in alignment, and I believe that's, I've actually had that ever since I was seven years old, and I might go into that. A little bit later um, and I also have peri uh, peripheral neuropathy you can look that up once again that's peripheral neuropathy and I have dystonia so there you go folks I'll get into the conspiracy factors in, in another video thank you for your time